guys, welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. You are with me, your host, Wezi Nyanewa Sosola. As usual, guys, this is an, a, a place where I share life experiences and ideas with the whole purpose of just growing each other uh, with our life experiences in so many ways, different aspects of our lives. It can be the spiritual aspect, the physical aspect, the social, the healthy, all the aspects of our lives. That's what we are here for, to encourage each other and to grow in our personal lives. And today I've got a very interesting um, topic that I want to talk about. We would like to discuss the issue of making lasting friendships. We've got so many ground questions to talk about and uh, a lot of ground to cover. And I've got a guest today and the, this person, maybe I haven't said this before, but she's a very big inspiration to me. Uh, she's, um, I mean, I've been looking to her since I was young. She's my sister. Her name is Pam. She'll um, talk more about herself later, but I just want to say this to her that you've been an inspiration. Yeah. And even in my Christian journey, I can look back um, when I think you were at KA, you had just started school and you came back uh, with the born again news. Uh, you are talking about it, how the born again experience and everything. To me, it was a new thing that to hear that people can be born again. And I'm sure that through that discussions, a seed was also planted in me to say that, you know, look, people can be born again and you can develop a relationship uh, with, with God. Mm -hmm. And I, I really respect the woman of God that you are. Uh, the, the zeal from way back, I can remember. Yeah, so over to you, Pam, just do your self introduction, then we kickstart uh, the ball. Uh, thank, you you. thank you very much, Wesley. <laughs> and nice to hear such lovely words coming from you. You are my sister biologically, that is not just by in the Lord, but it's a good thing to have a sister in the Lord and also have that sister be a biological sister. So been following your, your YouTube channel, so excited, you've done so much that I've felt in my heart so proud to be a part of it. So thank you very much that you've um, allowed me to come here. It's an honor for me that I can talk about friendship. I can talk about different things. Those are very important things in my life and they are dear to me. Yeah. All right. Hello. Yeah. So there you have it, viewers. Uh, she's my sister, as she have said. And in, the one thing that I've noted about her life is that she's good at making friends and also keeping friends. And I thought that should be the right person to help us uh, with this topic. So the first question to you is that what is a friend or who is a friend? Let's uh, open like that. Ah, that's a very uh, easy difficult and easy question. A friend, uh, in my opinion, I think when I'm talking about this, I'll talk about it in my opinion. I've been trying to think of it in different ways and I've seen that it's too vast to, yeah. to, to, to explain it. It will take us days to even come to it, but I'll just go and do a basic um, explanation of my opinion as to how I feel friendship is. I, I think friendship is more of a, a companion. It's called more companionship in life. Someone you can talk to, someone you can chat with, someone we can spend time with, um, yeah. someone who can help you in different ways or you can help them in different ways. Um, mm. Like for me, I like friends who can give me a different perspective of how I look at life because I look at life differently from everyone else mm. and everyone mm. else looks at life differently from the next person. So mm. it's someone you can pray with, someone we can play with. Mm. It can be anyone and it can be mm. even a pet. I mean, it's mm. been known that dogs are man's best friend. So that's also yeah. a friendship yeah. that you can look up yeah. to. Yeah. 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 Yeah, of course. Yeah, for the pet one, I think you can have a pet as a friend, but you definitely also have to have people as friends. Yeah, so you're very right that um, it's mostly about the companionship. You need to look up to somebody. You have to uh, always maybe you need to get help from somebody. 
um, it's very important to, to, to have friends really, because all of us in our life, we crave for um, that friendship. We crave for a sense of belonging. Uh, we crave for somebody really to be on our side. And sometimes maybe you'd wake up in the middle of the night with bad news. You want somebody to call and say, to. look, so and so, this is what I, uh, I'm going through. And you want to talk to that person and just pour out your heart to that person. Yes. And also sometimes just to cry. You just, just want somebody to hear you cry because of the things uh, that you are passing through mm. without necessarily producing words. Yeah. Um, so I think... Yeah, you've answered that um, so well. And um, the second one that I want to, to bring to you is that then how can you make friends? How can one make friends? Just talk more about the importance of having friends and also how can one make friends? Uh, friends are good to have in life uh, because as we look at life, even if you look from the Bible, uh, when Adam was created, he wasn't left alone. He was made a friend and a companion and somebody who can be with him in the Garden of Eden. And from mm -hmm. where you read the Bible, you would see that God saw that it was difficult for a person to be alone. Mm -hmm. it, it, it wasn't impossible, but it was difficult for man to be alone. That's why they made a companion and a friend to be with her. Um, yes. It's not sometimes it's, it's easy or not easy to make friendship depending on the character of a person. Uh, mm -hmm. For some people, they have many friends, platonic mm -hmm. friends that they don't really talk serious things with, and others mm -hmm. have got one or two friends. It, mm -hmm. it's not, it doesn't mean that if you have more friends or you are better than the person who has less friends or it means something about your character, it's just preference which people mm -hmm. can or cannot do. Mm -hmm. uh, meaningful, like you are talking about how can we have friends, meaningful mm -hmm. friends are difficult to make because it's a lot of sacrifice and compromise that you have to do. But at the end of the day, the results of it are worth it. Mm -hmm. To have a good friend, it means it's somebody you have to be vulnerable with, mm -hmm. you see? It is somebody you have to trust, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, nowadays, it's not easy to trust people because we are very cunning, we are very suspicious. We don't want the mm -hmm. best from the next person. And you don't mm -hmm. know, we are too fake. Mm -hmm. So you don't know mm -hmm. who's who. They come out to mm. you in a nice way, kind, mm. loving, and all the boxes that tick of a good friend, not knowing mm. that they are just out there to stab you in the back. They're yeah. out there to get information about you. And at the end of the day, hurt you. I've seen it mm. happen even to me so many times. Yes. 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 But yes. I've not yes. taken that, that it happens. I know that it's the nature of the game. But it, yeah. as you are planting... Uh, uh, plants you get in, 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 in the Bible it says that you need to allow the wheat mm -hmm. and the others to grow together at the end of the day you can be able to prune what's what up, yeah, and approach mm -hmm. yeah so that's the mm -hmm. same thing with friendship sometimes you need to use your inner most feelings because God put something mm -hmm. in us that is like a sixth mm -hmm. sense that can tell mm -hmm. that there's something about this person you cannot tell mm -hmm. exactly what it is but you know mm -hmm. that it's, it doesn't sit well with you. Experience of life, yeah. age, and also mm -hmm. things you've, you've seen, they can tell you to see some of the highlights and hot places that you yeah. know that, that, that that's something is not right. And there are some mm -hmm. people you just click from nowhere. You meet them once, mm -hmm. you feel like you've met them a thousand years and you talk yeah. to them and you are open with them. Maybe you never meet them ever again. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's uh, the very complication about friendship, but uh, yeah. it's a good beautiful thing when it turns out good yeah really me for me it's it's been a struggle really because um when i was thinking about this topic it was coming from a personal experience to say that how do you make meaningful friendships because sometimes you find yourself pursuing people um people can tip you that okay you need to fight to be present for other people you need to be intentional in making friends you will be available for them and you do all that you pursue sometimes and you find that you're not being pursued back yeah so by the end of, uh, end of the day i just withdraw and say oh i'm alone it's just good that maybe i should just be alone but how how can you really do that and um because I find my, it's very difficult uh, from a personal experience 
to really find meaningful, meaningful friendships these days, because you'll find that no matter how you try, sometimes maybe I may find people, I open up to the person, they'll just be answering questions for me, but I, I would be expecting them to ask me questions back, but nothing comes from them. So you'd be saying that, okay, I'm the only person who is asking questions here. Why aren't they asking me back? Why aren't they are interested in my life? Why should I be the only person pursuing these friendships? So I, I don't know really that, it, I know a lot of people also are struggling with the same. How exactly do you come to make those friends? Apart from, you say that sometimes you may just click with a person, mm. but apart, those are instances are rare. How yeah, can you deliver yeah, make friends and the people who pursue you back and open themselves also um, and be willing to learn about you as a person. Okay, for me, I have, I look like I have a lot of friends, but I really don't have a lot of friends, but I have a lot, the friends I have are yeah. cream de la cream, you know, the top range kind of friendship yeah. that they are no yeah. longer, most of them are no longer friends. They are more like my sisters that I can yes. leave them with my kids in the in terms of mm -hmm. if I were to die mm -hmm. kind of friendship, you know? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but all of them, when I look at them, I don't have any friend that I have been friends deeply less mm -hmm. than 10 years. Mm -hmm. And it's all taken time. But sometimes mm -hmm. when we sit around the two or three mm -hmm. of us or whatever number of friends I have and talk about life and where we started from, there have been moments where we, we fought and not talk to each other for weeks. Yeah, yeah. There have been yeah. moments whereby we've cried with one another. We've been there when one is giving birth, you know, in the theater. We've been there, one has lost a thing, marriages, they have lost friends, they have lost kids, mm -hmm. they have lost this and that. We've been there, you see. Mm -hmm. we've, we've celebrated weddings, we've celebrated relationships, we've celebrated good things and bad. Mm -hmm. But as I, I'm looking at it, first of all, for them, when I come back, how did I make friends with this person? It started mm. small things, you know, mm. little things, not pursuing the friendship as per se. Mm. It was just some mm. somebody I was, I would ask for something, a direction or help mm. here and there, maybe even work. Can you help mm. me with this? As time goes by, you see mm. that there's more time for you to be open with them mm. or a situation yeah. happens that needs you mm. to step up. Uh, somebody mm. like one of my friends, um, they had a baby. I needed to help them with the baby, but yeah, no one was yeah. there. And I could see this woman is struggling to, to keep this friend, yeah. this baby. Yeah. I said, okay, yeah. can I offer to babysit the, the child? Yeah. They were not yeah. sure and whatnot. After mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. it was fine. Man, yeah. It is small yeah. things that you need to look out mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. the ordinary other person doesn't see. You see? see yes. Uh, yes. One yes. time when I, I, I moved to Swaziland, there were so many people, mm -hmm. the family and everybody. But there was one mm. girl who's still my best friend up to now who saw mm. me I, at that time I was a pastor's wife. I needed somebody mm. to help me. I had kids. People were afraid mm. to talk to me. I was a foreigner. I didn't know what yeah. to do. But this girl yeah. stepped up. She started also helping me with the kids, you know, going yeah. in the church when the child uh, needs to be fed. She would take the child, ask for a bottle, go outside mm. and, and feed the baby on the boat. When the baby is finished, bring back. Mm or change mm -hmm. the nappies of the baby, things like that. Eventually I started talking, mm -hmm. talking, talking. Then eventually we became very good friends, you see? Mm -hmm. But it took mm -hmm. a lot of time. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. There was a time we fought with her about money mm -hmm. issues. We never spoke mm -hmm. for a week or two because we were both angry, yeah. but we humbled mm -hmm. ourselves and sat down. What is it? Friendship mm -hmm. needs you to understand the dynamics of your friend and them understand mm -hmm. you. For yeah. me, I don't like nonsense and mm. my friends know that i'm a a, no, a scary <laughs> shouty <laughs> person when somebody does that but yeah, i also yeah, love yeah. to laugh i also yes. love being naughty and having fun you see yes but you yes. can choose you can see the scary mm. version of shouty pamela mm. or you can mm. choose to see the fun loving easy going pamela but what mm. do you do that brings out the me because I have a face for every person I meet in life. And the face mm. I meet, I present is what provokes, mm. you provoke in me. Mm. If you are looking down on me, 
Of course, I will mm. not want to be seen that way. Then you take mm. out the defensive version of me. If you have yeah. respect to me, I'll also come yeah. out with a nice, happy feeling to you. Yes, yeah. But yes. all I'm saying is that we are a mirror to what mm. the other person is. So as our friends too, what is it that we're bringing to the table and yes. what is it that we're seeing? Okay. Mm. So you've talked, oh, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. All right. So what I've captured from what you've said is that you should not seek to understand most, seek to understand the person who mm. is uh, your friend, understand them. How do they operate? Okay. And you understand you. Them. Understand yourself. Yeah. What are you yes. all about? And what are you looking for in a friendship? Because friendship, we are not yes. looking at any willy nilly person to become our friends. Yeah. I know uh -huh. my character. I know things which yes. other people can't deal with, which are me. Yes. So uh -huh. I look at a person who can understand that weakness or that difficult yeah. part of me. Uh -huh. So okay. if they get that and, and, and accept that from me, then it's easier yes. to do other play, friendship in other ways. Yeah. If they know that yeah. I don't take nonsense, but they're not a nonsensical yeah. person, it's easier yeah. to get to know them. If they don't yeah. like being playful, and I'm a very playful person, it's hard to yes. be friendship friends with that person. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the time I'm being silly and childish, they'll be angry mm. at me. At what they'll kind of angry. this? So I need a person mm. who can accept all the dynamics of me and I can yes. accept their dynamics too. Mm. 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 Okay, yeah, you've also talked about looking at the small things that may, maybe um, not the uh, every person can look at. So just looking at those small things. And also you said that not to ignore long-term time friends because friendships takes a long time to build. Because you know, sometimes um, I may have a lot of friends maybe from way back. Um, so what you are trying to say here is that if you've got friends like that, it's better also maybe to go maybe and knock on their door. Don't just close them off because uh, friends sometimes, sometimes they can come from um, way back in, in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's one thing that I've got it because most of the times we, as people, we do not pursue um, friends, friendships that we had maybe a long time ago when in our childhood, maybe at the secondary school time. Mm -hmm. We forget those kinds of friends and we seek to create new friendships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I'm getting from you is that we should also be looking out for, for friends that we've come uh, way back with. And those ones, yeah, for me, I find them a little bit better because they're not mm -hmm. political. They'll know mm -hmm. you for who you are. If you have mm -hmm. done well now, or maybe you're a rich person, they don't look at mm -hmm. you as a rich person. They look at you as their friend who they grew up with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as okay. we are making friends, let's not make friendship about material things, about me asking you of something or you needing me for something or me needing you for something yeah. at all times, especially material things. People become mm -hmm. sensitive when the only reason you seem to want me mm -hmm. is you want my car, you want my money, you want my thing. Yes, it's it's yes, not nice. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, it's not nice. Yeah. If I want not to nice. give, I should give from the goodness of my own heart. But the friendship but, with yeah. you and I mm -hmm. have has mm -hmm. nothing to do with money. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if I see my friend is struggling financially, mm -hmm. I am the one who has to offer. Not that every yeah, time I should see you, I, see, I mm -hmm. should see a friend of mine asking for money, money, mm -hmm. money. And if I am a friend of yours who is always asking for money, you run away from me because you don't yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. You work yeah. so hard for your money too. Sometimes you just want yeah. to enjoy it. Yes, and yes. It, that said, it doesn't mean for me, some of the friends I have are very rich people, far mm. richer than I can ever imagine myself being. Mm. But because it's not about money and about asking each other of anything, we just talk about yeah, this. And if we yeah. are going out into places where, which I can't afford, mm. I'll let them know that mm. I, guys, you are all looking mm. for a five-star hotel or Moyo or yeah. whatever you call it. I can't afford. Yeah, I will pay for you uh, this time, yes, or next time, no, I don't think. Let's go to a place where I can afford. Yes, mm. yeah. Okay, yeah, that is right. Um, Because uh, sometimes uh, people just look to benefit from you like a parasitic sort of uh, friendship mm. where they just want to suck from you, suck from you and drain you when they have nothing uh, to offer in return. Mm. And once you give them what they want, they will go, uh, maybe they will ghost you and go in hiding for some time. Exactly. And until they need something. Yeah, and until they need something, then they will come back and say That's that. That's not they, friendship. This and that. 
yeah, and they may be looking at you that, oh, this is a well off person. Uh, they can afford this. Why isn't she giving me this? Mm. So that's one of the perspectives to look at. at that's at, why at, friendship at should not be based on material things at all. Material. Yeah. And um, now, uh, what kind of, uh, how do you, because you talked about pruning and the uprooting of some friends, okay, who are not beneficial to you. Uh, what kind of friends should you be keeping in your life? And what kind of friends uh, do you have to prune off and uproot? For me, I look at friends who are adding value to me, not financially mm. otherwise, but I, I see that when I'm with these people, I see growth in me. I see a challenge mm. in my life that I shouldn't stay the same, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secondly, I look for friends who are truthful to me. Because as a person, we always feel like, you know, we've got it all. But if I'm doing, I have friends who will tell me that I, my friend, today, no, you've missed it. Uh, even if I had a fight with a friend, and then I go and report to another friend, because we choose friends, you know, this friend, if I talk this story, she will not be happy. So I should go that one because she will compromise my story. But yes, all my yes. friends, even if I sneak mm. behind the other one and say, okay, this one fought with me and this one, I'm not happy. If the story, mm. they see that I was wrong. They'll tell her, ah, my friend, no, you missed it yeah, this time. Yes. I know, but I did it. No, no, no. This one, you mm. should have done it. Friends who can be truthful to you, who can correct you mm. when you are wrong, who constructively, yes. not to just put you down, constructively to help you do mm. better. And mm. then friends also who can support you in the needs in the time that you mm. need them and friends who mm. they can accept your assistance too because assistance. lack of acceptance of assistance from your friends shows mm. you that they think they are better than you they can't get anything yeah. from you so it's not a friendship yeah. it's not a symbiotic yeah. relationship it's mm. someone feeling superior to you and you are their mm. helper that's not friendship so yeah. for me yeah. all my friends will walk at par at the same level at yeah. par at all times mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. so we help and we'll see each other each other in that level so there's no yes. one who's better than the next mm -hmm. there's no one who's mm -hmm. richer than the best there's yes. no one who yes. does the other thing better than mm -hmm. the, the next person so at that mm -hmm. at that rate we talk yeah. human to human human to human human yeah to human. i think you're you're very right in saying that Usually, if somebody refuses to receive something, something from you, they may think that they are better off than you. Mm. That's an eye opener. Exactly. That's an eye opener. Mm. Yeah. Maybe they may act as if they are being considerate to you or what have you, but basically, what it means is that they are thinking that they are better off than you and exactly. you can't give them anything. Mm. Yeah, which is not good. Yeah, which is not good. Yeah, okay, then. Um, for you as a Christian woman, um, do you always look for Christian friends or you can be friends with non-Christians? How does that look to you? How do you go about it? I think um, I've realized that my, my friendships, the way I choose my friendship, it's more of what's my purpose? What am I looking for in this mm -hmm. friend, in this thing? Because when we talk about friends, it's some people are just business friends. You've mm. been doing business with them for 20 years and you can do mm. big deals with them without even considering twice because you know they will be trustworthy and faithful. You can go for mm. golf. If you are into golf, you can go for events with them, but it's mutually business. Like for me, mm. when I used to do a lot of church events, there were a lot of people mm. I used to work with, a lot of people I used to stand side by side for years, do conferences mm. with, organize big events, but they were mm. not my friends. It was just for that particular time. Mm. But yeah, there were friends yeah. who are my friends. In, in my friends, mm -hmm. the, the thing is that I've learned in Africa, it's very easy to make um, Christian friends because everyone <laughs> almost is a Christian. But then when you go abroad to other countries, there's no Christian. There's no, yeah, someone yeah, is yeah. an atheist, a Muslim mm -hmm. or whatnot. So if you look mm -hmm. at friendship in that way, then you will not get mm -hmm. anybody. You will just stay your, yourself. But what am I mm. looking for? If I need spiritual feeding, I'm mm. looking for an accountant. I'm looking mm. for a tax person who is a good or a lawyer who knows this in a friendship manner too, so that I yes. learn a few things with them, not for mm. that they'll charge me for it. I'm just being friends and getting to know in the accounting industry. Half of the people I know 
maybe even 90 percent are not christians but we do work together yeah. we chat we are friends in quotes mm -hmm. but if i want to somebody i can pray with somebody i can mm -hmm. sit and they tell my hearts hearts mm -hmm. too then i have to choose a person who will mm -hmm. see my spiritual part because they have mm -hmm. to feed that so if i'm mm -hmm. feeding my spiritualness with a non-christian and non what whatever mm -hmm. how does it work Mm -hmm. so yes. you look for what you're looking for what am i looking yeah. for in the friendship and then you yes. get in line with that in line with that yeah, mm. yeah. so for people yeah. i pray with i pray mm. with my fellow christian mm. if you're looking for maybe um some extra social capital and also maybe networking opportunities mm -hmm. uh, maybe business opportunities and so on and so forth then you go to the people who are in that particular industry that you are looking and at. And the best of that thing. So if they are the best and they are Christian, hallelujah, we thank God. But if they are yeah. best and they are not Christians, what can mm. we do? We live on earth. We are not in heaven yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to diversify your friends. You yes. come from uh, different parts of uh, uh, different industries. Yes. And you'll we'll be uh, helped like that. Okay, um, uh, that's that's good. Um, what about um, what can you advise the loners? Because there are other people who are loners, and they would say that okay, I'm alone. I'll be here. I'm okay. They they feel good when they are alone. They they don't feel good when, you when ask they me, They just yeah. want to be alone. Mm. That's what makes them feel good. What can be your advice to those people? Okay, one thing I've realized about humanity as human beings, you know, we are very complex uh, mm -hmm. people or beings that will create mm -hmm. the way God created. Every day I get amazed by how humans are. We are very different yeah. people. Some people, they are happy with being alone. They yeah. really, really, yeah. really don't want yeah. anybody in their life. And they are not moved. They are not even saying it in a nasty yeah. way or because yeah. they've been hurt by anyone. No, that's it. Mm -hmm. They do love their space. Mm -hmm. there there are people like me i'm a 50 50 there are moments which mm -hmm. i love my space and i don't want anyone around me and there are times where i want everyone around me 24 7 mm -hmm. what i can advise alone is that being alone because of a choice is a good thing because you are doing what you want so there's nothing wrong with that it becomes a problem when you are alone because you can't find friendship because then mm -hmm. there's a void and emptiness within you you see mm -hmm. then you are sad then that's why people do drugs. Some people commit suicide. Some people do all sorts of things because of that void. If you are being alone without having that void, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Some people, they are loners, but because everyone says that we need to have friends, they force themselves to have friends. They want to fit the narrative. At the end of yes. the day, they just fight with everyone. They feel irritated and drained. Mm -hmm. By the yeah. end of the day, mm -hmm. you just feel so tired mm -hmm. with the, everyone's drama, mm -hmm. everyone's thing. There's just too many people around you. Know mm -hmm. yourself. Know the kind of person you are. And accept mm -hmm. that. Don't fit in what people are saying. Mm -hmm. If you yes. have one friend for the rest of your life, just one, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you are happy with mm -hmm. that one person. If your friend mm -hmm. is your spouse and you are okay with it, it's fine. If your friend is mm. not your spouse, it's your sister. It's fine. Mm. If your friend is your mom, mm. it's fine. Mm. If your friend is somebody mm. else that we don't even consider it a friend or your kind of friendship is not the party mm. going every day. Maybe you just mm. sit under a tree, the two of you in mm. silence and never talk about anything. It is mm. fine. Mm. We yes, are 7 yes, billion yes. people. All mm. of us are very different. So we can't expect you, it to be the same. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, mm. so people are different. You people can't different. expect every person to act this the, the, as as the next neighbor mm. uh, is. So every person is unique. We need to accept them for for their uniqueness, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. You're right. Yeah, okay. And about um, I just have to put you on the spot. Um, I saw this other day on your status. You are talking about frying into personal business and so on and so forth. Oh, how do you set your boundaries and um, what boundaries do you do you have to set for yourself? Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, Because I thought for a friend, it's okay for them to pry into your business because they are, it shows that they care for you. And if you say that you don't ask too much, you are prying into my private business and so on and so forth, what does that mean? And how do you set those boundaries? When should you set those boundaries? Okay, 
the 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 thing is that with friendship there are different mm -hmm. ranks in the friendship there are friends which you know we are acquaintances we are good friends we are better friends than their best friends even the best friends the iphone in different categories the best of the best mm -hmm. most of the times when a person wants you to know about their life mm -hmm. they will talk to you mm -hmm. about it they'll ask mm -hmm. you things like personal about things like relationship oh my husband mm -hmm. has done this i'll come by myself Ish. Mm -hmm. i don't know what happened but yesterday my hubby i've opened the door mm -hmm. To say, oh, now we can talk about the husband now. Mm -hmm. So now I can be free to speak. But I stay with you. You never mention anything about I ne you stay with me. I never mention anything about my husband. Why are you asking me? Leave it. When I'm ready and good, I will tell you. Yeah. Yes. But if I'm yes. not saying anything about it and you don't know anything about it, then you can't go that route. I'm not our friendship is not like that. It's not that deep. Mm, it's it's not about depth, even. Sometimes it's just not like that. We don't talk about this. And I have friends, I yeah. talk about different things. Mm -hmm. And I have friends who I, I, I talk about everything with them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Allow people to start the step, the first step. And then you know, mm -hmm. and you can measure what they are free with and what they are not. And if you yeah. ask them, sometimes maybe they're not free to tell you because they're afraid mm -hmm. that maybe you too, you won't accept that kind of drama. Mm -hmm. But if you yes. ask them, and they are a mm -hmm. bit dally dally and they're not coming out clean. Step back mm -hmm. because they're mm -hmm. not ready to talk about it. When they are good mm -hmm. and ready, they will come to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to force somebody or mm -hmm. to keep on trying, keep no, on trying. You, you can test the waters. You can yeah. test the waters, but if you see that mm, the person, you mm -hmm. can tell that the person is not comfortable yeah. talking about this, then you yeah. step back. When they are ready yeah. and good, they will tell you. But this praying yeah, and whatnot is what makes me run away that I don't want that kind of friend. Yeah. So I won't call you. I won't talk to you yeah. because you are too much on me. You are too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you need to, 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 to um, be able to see um, uh, and test the waters. If somebody is not open enough, they should be the, the, the ones forthcoming with that information. Mm. If they tell you about their personal life, then from there, you know that the door has been opened. You can ask them or more information. You can help them uh, with prayer and the, what have you. Only if they show that they want to, willing to open up. But it's not good to keep on pushing, pushing and pursuing. Otherwise, you're pushing that person away and they, can, they can't uh, open up further to you. And the, yeah, question, the other question is trust. Do they trust mm. you? Because sometimes I don't want to talk about this thing because I know once I tell you, my sister, you are going to tell my other sister about it. And I didn't want my other sister to know. So I don't want to be saying to you, like I'm trying to hide from our family to say that, okay, I'm telling you, but don't tell so-and-so. No, you should know that this is your story. Not for so-and-so. If so-and-so wants to know, I will tell them. Yeah, who can you can tell somebody in confidence? You know that they will keep that. They will not just um, review whatever you talk to uh, to everybody else. Hmm. Yeah, thanks so much. This has been a very good session. I don't know if you've got any last words on how to keep um, mean, meaningful friendships. Just say something to the viewer on how they can make these lasting friendships. Last words, please. My last words are friendship uh, takes time and it needs you to work hard. Be attentive to your friend. Be a good friend. Also give what you would want them to give back to you. The mm -hmm. Bible says do unto others as you would want them to do for to you. Oh, so yeah. that th those are easy things. Friendship is a very good and beautiful thing. I've had mm -hmm. very good relationships and friendships in my life. And yes. uh, there have been helpful especially when my family couldn't be there because of distance and other things yes. so lastly i'll just say let's be good friends out there not expect to take 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 but the more you yes. give is the more you receive also mm -hmm. and oh, i'll yeah, just say true. thank you for allowing me to come here i've really yeah. enjoyed i wish it was longer <laughs> because it was really <laughs> interesting I'm, as i'm talking i'm also learning things and yeah. uh, that is new yeah. but said by me surprising yes. yeah i think next time we will we'll also uh, have to organize something else that that can take uh, much longer and then just explore a lot of so many issues uh, that happens in life and see how, how we can go about that we, we can um, 
plan for that one in, in the coming months. Yeah, so this was a very deep conversation. And um, for you viewers, I know that you've taken something deep from this. You've taken so much wisdom that have come from this on how to make lasting friendship, the benefits of um, having friends and the, how to go about choosing the best friends for you. Yeah, I've learned a lot from this particular uh, episode. And especially also, you know, in the Bible, we've got examples of um, lasting friends, the likes of Jonathan and David. David yeah. Very beautiful friendship, very beautiful indeed. Friendship that one could be willing to lose their life for the next person. Mm -hmm. That is a very deep friendship. If you can remember the story of Jonathan and David, the father so wanted to take David's life, but Jonathan came to the defense of, of, of David just because of how deep their friendships are. So it, it's really a blessing to have such friendships in life. And it's my prayer. Uh, we need to be praying for, for such friendships in our, our life. So let's keep asking God uh, for this sort of friendship. So viewers, I know that you've enjoyed this episode. Till next time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, to like this channel, and also to share with your friends. Stay blessed. Oh, you.